A wonderful scene here at Wembley. An ocean of fans descending upon the stadium for what promises to be an absolutely riveting FA Cup final. It's Arsenal. They face Manchester United. And it's live on EA TV. At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It's Arsenal up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. The lineup for Manchester United. Luke Shaw starts with Aaron Wan Bisaka in the fullback positions. Anthony plays with Marcus Rashford in the wide positions. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Well, it might well be a game to save a Manchester United kick-off. Bukayo Saka. And teammates to play it to. Havertz. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Can they forge ahead? Can he find the angle? Oh, he saved it well. Who can they pick out? And he clears the danger. Gabriel Jesus. Oh, shielding the ball admirably. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Oh, a goal! To put Arsenal in front on this massive occasion. And how significant could that be in the grand scheme of things here? Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. underway once more let's see if United have the wherewithal to square the game Bruno Fernandes here's Mount Rafael Varane United might be able to cash in well not giving the opposition a look in that strong play 
He takes aim. Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. Corner given to United. And short it is. Bruno Fernandes. And still trying to get the shot off. Martin Odegaard. On to Jesus. Declan Rice. A really top-notch piece of defending. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Rashford. Rashford. Arsenal recovering possession well. Martin Odegaard. Anthony. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Gabriel Jesus running with the ball confidently well the fans really want him to shoot could be and the keeper more than equal to it Marcus Rashford so on the cusp of the half-time interval it's Arsenal holding the edge here Stuart, time for your assessment of what you've seen from them well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going at half-time if it stays like this. Corner kick for United. Can they take advantage of the situation? <laughs> and over it comes. Well, there we have it. We're at the halfway mark now, here at Wembley. Well, it's advantage Arsenal after the first 45 minutes, but still a long way from being decided here. Trossard. On to Zinchenko. Will it be? not really troubling the goalkeeper at all Stuart well from that range he should be scoring and he knows it Anthony and Mount Bruno Fernandes and that puts him in position oh could be oh the equaliser just what they needed and the dream remains very much alive well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. So back underway, following the equaliser. Mason Mount! 
Trossard. Declan Rice. Plenty of options. Rice. Very quick thinking there. 30 minutes to go then. Promising possession this. Can they forge ahead? Oh, it's in! To give them the lead in the final. The stuff that dreams are made of. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Well, having fallen behind, the onus is on Arsenal to come up with an articulate response. Saka, Yuri and Timber. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Fossard. Gabriel Jesus he read the situation defensively and did his job working really well as a team to regain possession Bruno Fernandes and now Rashford. Fernand. Must be. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. So back underway. 3-1 the score. Declan Rice. Trossard. Now he must favour the cross. Gabriel Jesus. Now well, just the tackle that was needed. Well, not far away from full time now, and United excelling here. Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball, and they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it. It's been a really great performance all round. And a very good challenge. Looking for the angle. But nothing comes of it. Lisandro Martinez. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Aaron Wan Bisaka. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity.
Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition.